Have you ever had to dig around in folder after folder to find a file? Struggle to figure out where to store a sensitive document? Giving your employees the ability to share folders with others only to find them doing it wrong? In this video, you'll learn the basics for creating and running a folder structure that works for you and your organization. Ready? Let's get right to it. As a box admin or co-admin, the best thing you can do to prevent storage and sharing nightmares is by building a folder structure in box that supports your organization's use cases, makes it easy to find content, and keeps your most sensitive data secure. You're the one who's building the foundation from which everybody else will work, which means your decisions around folder structures actually matter quite a bit. But don't worry, you are not alone. We're gonna walk through it together, one step at a time. While we do, get out a pen or hop into a box note and be thinking about what you need your colleagues and employees at your organization to do with the content you're keeping in box. Those details will help you answer some of my questions later on. Let's start with learning about the two different kinds of folder structures. In box, there are two basic kinds of folder structures, open and closed. An open structure means that anybody in your box instance can create top level structures for content. This is a great option for organizations that want everybody to be able to do things like create departmental or conference folders, work out of their own personal workspaces and work a bit freer. A closed structure has a defined top level that content needs to be placed into. Here, folder structure changes must be requested and only admins and co-admins can create new root folders. A lot of organizations that work with sensitive data tend to opt for a closed structure to help put some guardrails up for their users. Regardless of which structure you choose, everyone's all files pages will look unique to where in the folder structure they're invited in at. Both open and closed structures have different ways of handling two pretty big questions. Who owns your content and who has access to it? In Box, the folder owner is the one who controls who can do what. Folder level settings, permission levels for other collaborators, these are both things the folder owner can tinker with. In an open structure, anyone can be the owner of a folder. Pros, this is a pretty free way of working that allows any individual to invite collaborators, revoke access, adjust specifics about the folder settings, and leave feedback. Cons, when someone is leaving the organization, they need to remember to transfer ownership of their content to somebody else, or an admin like you needs to do it for them. With a closed structure, it's pretty common for a service account to be the owner of all the root level folders. While a service account means that users are a little more restricted in where and what they upload and create, it also means that when someone leaves the organization, all content ownership automatically defaults to the service account. So things can be a little more automated and feel a little easier. First, let's take a look at what an open folder structure might look like. Bonica is a member of the marketing department. So they've been invited into the marketing workspace by Marcus, their manager. As an editor invited at the top level, Bonica's permissions waterfall down which means they can see all the content below that top marketing folder too. Marcus did a good job inviting Bonica to the root folder since they'll need access to the whole marketing structure. Bonica made their own personal workspace on their all files page where they haven't invited anyone else in. This is a private place for them to store drafts of presentations, notes for their own personal development and other documents that don't belong in the marketing space. Now let's check out a closed folder structure. You may have already noticed that Yeji can't create or upload on her All Files page. The service account for her company has invited her into the folders she'll need and given her viewer access to a Getting Started with Box folder that contains helpful guidance for where she should store and create content. In this way, Yeji's organization is helping her stay on track with a no-fuss structure. Regardless of which folder structure you decide on for your organization, your aim should be to design a structure with scale and searchability in mind to ensure that everyone can work efficiently in your instance. When you name a folder, name it so that it's clear what project or department the folder belongs to. After all, 
Who can tell one resources folder from the next if you don't let us know what the resources are for? And remember, users can only see and search for what they've been invited into as a collaborator, so we'll want to make sure it's easy for them to do so. Also, specificity will help users search for the content they want to find. And when they get a notification, they'll know exactly what it's for. You now have all the tools you need to get started with building a folder structure. It's time to dive into your own account and start exploring. Ready to learn more? Click on the resources below.